Iliama Masili Maramati Kalisika Liama Maramada Da 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 mari lele e kalisi marama li shara da 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 Lord my case require urgent mercy Thank you Holy Spirit this morning You have decided to show us mercy and we know we will receive mercy from you Thank you Holy Spirit Thank you for asking us to do this And each time you ask us to pray like this it always ends with powerful testimony. As you are joining this morning, I need you to share to as many people as possible. As I pray this morning on that covenant land of mercy, the Lord said to me, He says some people case require urgent mercy. I know your case require urgent mercy. And as you are joining, I need you to share and type my case require urgent mercy. That is the prayer we want to pray for the next 30 minutes. Don't just watch me. I've given you one prayer point that the Holy Ghost gave me. This morning as you are joining, the Lord bless you. Happy New Year, compliment of the season. But we want to pray this morning. Each time the Lord commanded us to pray like this, there's always a notable testimony. God has declared this year as a year of wonderful testimonies. And for you to receive testimonies, you need mercy. As you join us as we worship God for five minutes, before we go into those prophetic prayers, just 30 minutes, and God is going to show you mercy. Lord, we worship you. O Mara Kalia Masidi Dili Shrada Dali Keli Mari Masia. Write any name of God that you know. Let's thank God for, for giving us grace to know the first week in the first in this 2023. This is my first time of meeting you on this online prayer this year. We pray for some people last year and they still die. But you are still alive and God wants to show somebody mercy. God is the one that instructed me to pray this prayer for you. And God can never instruct me to pray when he's not ready to answer. It means God wants to show somebody mercy this morning. Lima Kalisa Kali Amara Madadara. Join me to worship God. Make sure you share with people so that other people can join. I know God wants to show as many people as we stay to the end of this broken great mercy this morning. Let's worship him. Call him any name you want. Call in any name you like is, is my helper. The name that I love to call God is that God is my helper. People are not writing the essence of you. Let's make it uh, interactive. Call him any name you like. God is my helper. That is the name he gave me this year. He said Isaiah 41 verse 10. He said don't be afraid. Fear not. He said I will hold your right hand and I will help you. God has promised to help me this year and God has also promised to help you. Therefore I need you to type God is my helper. That is my favorite name of God. God is my helper. I don't know who God is to you but God is my helper. And I know God is your helper too. If God is your helper, I need you to type. Whether you are watching now, whether you are going to watch on our YouTube channel today, I pray as you type, God is your helper. He will appear to you as your helper. Mr. I will beat you. I will beat you at the bio. My friend, my brother. Yes, God is my helper. Anyone that is joining us, the Lord bless you, welcome. I need you to write that one name of God. God is my helper. Let me know you are there. I, jo I only have 30 minutes for this prophetic prayer, just 30 minutes. I need you to, to start eulogizing God. Write it there. Yes, Ulu Folaji. Ulubukola Kayo Dileye. He said, God is merciful, God. Yes, Nika Usundu Awuzi. He said, God is my helper. Yes, I need you to type if you are there. I need you to share as we worship God. Calling a name, you know. 
for me, God is my helper. God is my helper. God is my helper. Is God your helper? We have two more minutes before I go into this prophetic, violent prophetic prayer. Today's prayer is going to be violent and the testimony is going to be immediate. As you are joining us, I need you to type, God is my helper and is going to help you today. Just 30 minute prophetic prayer. If you stay to the end, I have two powerful testimony that I will share with you. Idaka Liyama, write it, God is my helper. Don't just watch alone. Share with your friends, share with your friends. Thank you, Jesus, because you are here to help us again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome again. As I said before, as I pray this morning, the Lord said to me that there are some people case that require urgent mercy. The Lord says some people case require urgent mercy. I know some people are watching right now. I want you to look at your life. Hosea chapter 2, verse 23. Hosea chapter 2. Verse 23, the Lord said, I will show mercy to those that have not obtained mercy. There are certain areas of your life that you have not obtained the mercy of God. Look at the life of Anna. Anna has married for years. She has prayed for years. She has visited Shiloh for years. But on a particular year, she said today, I'm going to pray or I forget about it. And after everyone left, she stayed and she began to pray some violent prayer. That's the kind of prayer I want to pray today. You may not like my style today, but I'm going to pray some violent prayer. He said, because many people that receive mercy in the Bible, that are violent action they took. And I'm going to show you. But don't want you a bit all I want to join me. Please, I would like you to join after the... Let me do the prophetic prayer first before you join. After the old prayer, you can join and pray one-on-one. -on -one. Please, I need you to share with your friends so that people can join. I need 50 people to be active this morning. And you are the one that can make it happen. You are the one that can share it. Send it to your group. Anybody that needs urgent mercy, tell them to come. Because God has told me that I want to show urgent mercy. So Anna has been praying, God, I need a baby. God, I need a baby. But on this particular year, when Anna got to Shiloh, she realized her case is urgent and that, that she needs mercy urgently. You know, when you receive urgent mercy over situation, help will come immediately. I'm going to say that again. When you receive urgent mercy over a particular situation, help will come immediately. Help will come instantaneously. I need you to type. My case requires urgent mercy. I receive urgent mercy. Wherever you are, you are listening to me. Like how God show an urgent mercy. You will obtain urgent mercy this year. I say you will obtain urgent mercy. I say you will obtain urgent mercy. I say you will obtain urgent mercy. Say you will obtain urgent mercy. Look at the Bible. Everyone that receives help from God, they realize their case requires urgent mercy. When that man that died for four days died, and his sister Mary and Martha sent for Jesus, they said, Jesus, we want you to come to our cave, to our house, because your friend Lazarus that you love is dying, and his case requires urgent mercy. I don't know what is dying in your body. As I pray, I saw emergency session. I saw emergency session. Doctor moving from one office to the other, attending to a patient. And the Lord was talking to me. He said that patient, his case is an emergency situation. That is why all doctors, they are running at task He said some people are already in emergency room. They are already in emergency room. And angels are running scatter scatter to make it happen so that they can survive. There are cases that if mercy did not speak now, you can't survive. Before I pray for you, I need you to imagine an emergency. You have been to hospital before. This will determine how you pray this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Imagine an 
a person that involved in a tragic accident and they took him to emergency session. You see how the doctors, how the doctors will be running extra scatter to make sure that he survived. Your case is already an emergency situation. If angels do not intervene, it may not happen. I need you to pray with me. Makalia Sakada, God, my case is an emergency case and I need urgent mercy. If you cannot pray where you are, I know you can type where you are. I want you to connect with me. Don't just pray this prayer alone. Your, your blessing is also connected to who you bring into the platform. I see many people that need to receive the prayer. They are not online right now. So I need you to share. Mali Kasaka Dele. Lord, we are already in emergency room now. Our case requires urgent mercy. Everyone that is connected to me, I know your case is an emergency one. Receive urgent mercy in the name of Jesus. Receive urgent mercy in the name of Jesus. Receive urgent help in the name of Jesus. Receive urgent help in the name of Jesus. Receive urgent mercy in the name of Jesus. A blind man saw that Jesus was passing and he knew he cannot help himself. The only thing he cried for, my case is urgent. My case is an emergency. Lord, show me mercy. Maybe you have been applying. I have a testimony that I want to share. Once you are 25 people, I will share it. So I want to, if the 18 people that are watching right now decide to share, I know that people will join. You will know there are cases that uh, unless God use urgent mercy, that thing will be, will be late. Maybe there is something that you want to do and time is attached to it. Somebody, you need to receive something in this January. And it must happen in this January. That is a prayer you have prayed and you say, God, it must happen in this January. It means your case is urgent. There is a prayer that I pray on the first day of this year. I'm going to share that testimony once we are 25. I want you to type, God, my my case is, is an emergency. I need urgent mercy. Receive urgent mercy. Those people trusting God for job. Your case is an emergency. A man is listening to me. You are a family man. You are a man. You have a wife. You have three children. I can see these children. Two girls and one boy. Mare Kaleke City. You lost your job in 2022. You lost your, your means of livelihood and you are saying, how am I going to pay the school fees of these children by next week Monday, you realize your case is urgent and there is an urgent mercy for you. Male kasadia, idadale kediri yama sakali yara, ele kedesi yama rama, amiari in my spray. The Lord is Oh, the Lord is placing his hand on somebody's shoulder. God, Kalema, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see the hand of God. God is placing his hand on somebody's shoulder and he said, relax, I'm going to help you. Malese kale kade siyara, eleke de marama liyama, marasa kada kada kale kere, reke de keleke de dele. He said, fear not, I will help you. Marase ke liyada. You know, you are saying, I don't know what I will tell them when I go to my parents, my school, my, my 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 children school next week Monday. I don't know what to tell them. I don't know what to tell them. Hey, your case is urgent. Receive urgent mercy. Everyone that has financial need, I need you to time. I receive urgent mercy on my finances. I receive urgent mercy on my finances. Receive urgent mercy, receive urgent mercy, receive urgent mercy, receive urgent mercy, receive urgent mercy. financial help is coming for you, financial help is coming for you, those of you that you are saying if God does not show up that you are going to be put to shame, it means, Kalema, somebody is listening to me, you went home in December, thank you Holy Spirit, you went home in December and your in-law are telling you, they are telling you, you even heard them saying it, that if you don't give our son a shine by 2023, that you are going to lose that home. It means your case is urgent. That home is your home. I see in the spirit, they are distributing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see in the spirit realm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They are distributing white and cashy. White and cashy. And I'm asking God in the spirit, what is the meaning of this? He said, what is the meaning of this? Oh, we are 25. I'm going to share that testimony. But let me tell you what I'm seeing in the spirit right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I see in the spirit, they are distributing white and cashy. And now I'm asking the spirit, what is the meaning of this white handkerchief? And the Lord is saying, it's a mantle for your battle. It's a mantle for your battle. It's a mantle for your battle. Receive a mantle for your battle. Every battle that you are going through, that is a mantle to undo that battle. Type and say to yourself, in 2023, I receive a mantle for my battle. Every battle you are going through, there is a mantle that can undo it. There is a mantle that can undo it. Thank you, Holy. I make a promise that once you are 25, I'm going to share a testimony with you. Your case requires urgent mercy. Let me share the testimony. Maybe that will inspire you to pray. Is what happened to me. I know some of you on, on faith on this Hallelujah Network must have seen it yesterday. I posted it yesterday. I got a car gift yesterday. Was it yesterday or a day before yesterday? January 4. But this is what happened. I'm a pastor, and in our church, we usually do a crossover service. And I believe you also do a cross service uh, program in your church. I have four children by the grace of God and my wife and myself making sex. And God just built a new house for us. And the house is very far to our current church, to our church. So, but we don't have a vehicle, we don't have a car. Six of us, we took Marua when we were coming to church. And after the crossover service, I was even thinking maybe any of the member can help us take us back to our home. But after the service, maybe they did not even cross any of their, any, any of their mind. And they left. They left by one. Everybody left. I think we are the only family that remain in the church because at that hour, there is no, no, nobody to take us to our home. So I told my family, my children and my wife, I said, let's go and pray for mercy. So we went to the, the covenant ground of mercy. And our request is just one, just one. And we ask God that God give our family a car. That this thing, there is an urgent need for it. That was the prayer we pray on January 1st. January 1st. We all pray, the children pray. Because we realize we are the only one that left in the church. Because there is no car to take us home. And we pray. That was our prayer point, January 1st. God, this year, we, you built a house for us. We moved there December 25. A very beautiful house. And we say, okay, God, we need a car. I pray with the children. I pray with my wife. The first children, we pray. And they, they went and slept. They slept inside the auditorium with, with cold. And on January 4, somebody came to our house. And he said, I should follow, I follow that person and went straight to where they are selling car and bought a car of 3.5 million naira and gave it to us as a gift. And I did not ask that person, just gave it to us as a gift. I said, God answered the prayer we pray on January 1st. He answered it on January 4th. There are situations in your life that if God did not intervene, you will continue to be in shame. I don't know who needs to hear this. Every situation that have put you into shame, every situation that have put you into shame, that situation is not asking for your crime. It's not asking for your for you, for, uh, for your crime. It's asking for death mercy. Every situation that is putting you into shame, that is making people to ask, where is your God? That situation is obtaining urgent mercy right now. I'm praying from my spirit, from my heart. Your situation will receive the mercy of God. Your situation will receive the mercy of God. In January, when we cry to God, our situation requires urgent mercy. And God, shut up! And that person that bought the car, hear what the person said. He said, God sent him 
to buy that car. I said, a car of 3.5 million. It may not mean anything to you, but it means something to me. Not even because of the value, but because there is an urgent need for it. There is an urgent need for it. Do you have any urgent need in your life right now? I need you to begin to tie, and I will be praying the Holy Ghost. You see, when a case is an emergency, doctors will be running extra scatter. When, when you declare that your case is an emergency, in heaven, angels will be running a casket because they want to deliver. In Marada Dalekel Dilima, because of your case, angel will be sent from heaven to attend to you. In Maracadada, angel will be sent from heaven to attend to your case. In Leke Dilima, angels will be sent from heaven. In Lekada Siara, in Le Maracalia. Somebody is listening to me. You are saying, My Ili is. It's an emergency case. E keli maraka dada le keli kadeli amam. E rakale masinda deli ara dada. If you are sick, I need you to touch that place where you are sick now and declare this sickness you must lay because my healing is is an emergency. E keli marada. Just as doctors are running a casket to make that a patient survive, I see the angels are running a casket in heaven to ensure. That you receive your healing, a mama, a lekederia, rakalema, a dada say they have told you there is no medication. There is mercy. There might not be medication, but there is mercy. Mercy for all sickness, all gent mercy for all medical issue. Mercy for medic medical issue. What medication cannot handle? All gent mercy for you. Receive urgent message. Somebody is saying my own is an application. You submitted an application and you are saying only God can intervene. Maybe it's a job application. Maybe it's a business proposal. Anything that has to do with somebody approving what you have submitted. Mercy will be the one to approve for you. It doesn't matter whether people like it or not. It doesn't matter whether the institution like it or not. Somebody is saying this year I will receive promotion. Mercy will bring promotion. Somebody is saying I will receive answer. Mercy will give you answer. Mercy will give you answer. We have 10 more minutes. I need you to time. What is it that you require mercy for? As I pray in the Holy Ghost, write it down. We are doing a night of 1,000 hallelujah in the last two years. And I said, write your request. Write your request. I said, in I are reading. And somebody write, I want to bring my baby. That same day, as she was shouting that hallelujah, she vomited something. And exactly nine months, she gave birth. Ima Sika, write it. What do you need? Urgent mercy. E kalada se liara marakalele rekalia masakala rele de 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 ria ria si makada se liada kaliara male de de se keria malashara kale ere si amara kale ke de de ere makeli amasidi idili akada kale ke de ria masadi adi elele e rali idadi sakale masara kalia masi righty don't be afraid nobody will see. Only heaven will respond. Heaven will respond to whatever you write. Urgent mercy for that pregnancy. Maleke deri adadara. You will deliver that pregnancy. You will deliver that pregnancy. Emali asa. I'm seeing somebody with boy. Boil in your body. I command that boil to disappear. Malese kaliada. You are so somebody to give you something and that person has been promising and failing promising and failing promising and failing hey i'm hearing in my spirit where men has failed you mercy we speak for you all just mercy for you where men if you are here right now i need you to share this so that people that need to join for the next nine minutes can join all just mercy Right now, as you go to your office this year, when Jesus died on the cross, I want to pray a prophetic prayer for you. When, because what urgent mercy does is an allocation of angels to your case. I'm going to say that again. What urgent mercy does is allocation of angels to your case. I'm going to say that again. Maybe that's someone 
pray that can help, can help me time. What object mercy does is an, 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 an application, a supply of abundant angel to your case. Karemalia marakale de deliara. When Jesus died, buried in the tomb, put a, a big stone upon him, and they assigned some guard to guard him. And Jesus resurrected, but he cannot come out because of the stone. And God was sitting on his throne. He said, My son needs to come out from that pit. And do you know what God did? God showed urgent mercy. And what mercy does is allocation of angel. What object mercy does is allocation of angel. And God said, God sent an angel to go and remove that roadblock, that stone, so that the testimony of Jesus can be perfected. Imagine it. Had they been Jesus resurrected in the tomb and he could not come out, that testimony would have been wasted. Somebody is listening to me. The mercy that will make your testimony to be perfect. Receive that mercy. He said, perfect testimony. That urgent mercy. God sent an angel when Jesus needed to get out from that pit. You are coming out from that pit. Imam Makali Asaka. From that financial pit, you are coming out by the help of angel. This year, you will receive angelic air. If Jesus, my spirit is burning. If Jesus receive the help of angel, believe me, you also need the help of angel. After 40 days fasting and prayer, the Bible says, the angel came to minister to Jesus. When Jesus was inside the tomb, the Bible say in Matthew 28 that an angel from heaven came and rolled away the storm. I don't care the name of that which is stopping you from having your testimony. Mercy rolled away. Every roadblock between you and your next level. Mercy rolled it away. Maria Kaleda Seliyama. Every roadblock between you and your next level. Mercy roll it away. I know somebody is typing. Mercy is rolling it away. Every stumbling block between me and my next level, between me and my perfect testimony, mercy is removing it. What you cannot handle, Maleka Seliyama, mercy will handle it for you. Maria Lia Kalesa Dada Dada, I'm seeing a woman. What you have is a problematic husband. Your home is experiencing crisis and you are saying, if God do not intervene by urgent mercy, that this home will collapse. That family will not collapse. That family will we stand urgent mercy for every home that is going through crisis. Hey, urgent mercy. That man that you cannot beg. That man you cannot speak to. Mercy will speak to him. Makalia, Maradebe, Seliadi, Lekediri, Masiama, Ilakalia, Sakada. A single, somebody is listening to me. You are a single lady and you are trusting God for husband. God will make your picture to appear to your husband. The person that is marrying you will see you this year. Somebody is saying, my own is to go to America, to go to Canada, to relocate. I don't care the, the rules and regulations that will be stopping you from moving from where you are to where you are going. Mercy is clearing way for you. This year, I'm hearing in my spirit, the Lord said, you are going to walk in the path cleared by mercy. You are going to walk. That prophecy is my own. I am going to walk in a path made by mercy. Hey, Marasia, I'm going to walk in a path made by mercy. They will say who made this way, you will say mercy. Maleke Liara, I have four more minutes. Elede Asikili Adakala, mercy will make way for you. Marasikili Adakala, urgent mercy. A man, Liaseke Liadi Kelia Masiri, Dilishri Akalede, Eria Masadia, urgent mercy for you. Before this year is over, you we testify. I don't care what the enemy has done. Before this year is over, your prayer thank you Holy Spirit. Let me share a testimony for you. 2022 
July. We were doing a thousand hallelujah. And after the program, we asked people to ask for whatever they need. In July 2022, I asked for two things. I said, God, I need a house of my own. July 20, July 15, that's where we did the hallelujah. I said, I need a house, I need a car. July 15. And God built the house for us. We move in in December 21. And on January 4th, God gave the car. How long do you think it take God to set you? How long do you think it take God to set you? For somebody that can say amen. Or mercy, urgent mercy will bring urgent answer. Urgent mercy will bring immediate answer. And in the spirit, he said, No more delay. That which you are trusting God, no more delay. Mercy will make it happen. Say, Mercy will make it happen. Say, Mercy will make it happen. I have three more minutes. Mercy will make it happen. I pray and I declare over you. The only thing you need to say now is Amen. Please don't pray again. The only thing you need to say now is Amen. Some, somebody said something. When he came to our house and he saw the car, he said, now, I know that God called you and I, and I, was, I wasn't that happy because I know myself that regardless of the goodness of God around me, that God called me. But you know, the person is not lying. There are things people want to see in your life as an evidence that truly you are a servant or that you are a child of God. That is something that people want to see in your life. That will convince your enemy that truly you are serving God. That which people around with you will see in your life. That will make them to confess that your God is a good God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I saw a fresh oil as I'm praying that prayer. That which men will see in your hand. That we make men around you to confess and confirm that your God is a good God. A Madi Liasarema. That thing is given to you this year. A Lekeli Imad Asakilia. That which people must see in your life. That which people must see in your hand. That testimony people must hear. For them to know that your God is good. You know the truth is that God is good. Whether you experience it or not, God is good. But then, people need to see certain things in your life to confirm that goodness. I pray for you. Maybe it is job. That which men will see in your life. That will make men to conclude that God is good. Receive it. That which your in-law need to see in your hand. That will make them to confess that your God is a good God. Receive it. That which your friend will see in your life. That will make them to confess that your God is a good God. The God of Ayobabalala will do it for you. I don't know who I'm praying for. This year, the Lord, and the Lord my God, has declared this year as a year of wonderful testimony for everyone connected to me right now and for everyone that is going to watch this prophetic prayer on YouTube. Amen. Sakada, the month of January, you will have wonderful testimonies. Now it is time for you to type. Begin to type month of January, and we have wonderful testimonies. Month of February, he had the word of the Lord, and we have wonderful testimonies. A lake at the Sierra, as I pray on the mountain this morning. Hear what the Lord told me. He said, Everything you call testimony. He said, everything you call the goodness of God. He said, everything you call the kindness of God. He said, it's not up to 1% of what God wants to do for you. And that humbles me. He said, everything you call God goodness. Everything you call testimony. He said, it is not up to 1% of the blessing God has arranged for me. I realize God has arranged huge blessing for me. The same thing with you. I speak to January. It will be a month of wonderful testimony for you. I speak to February. It will be a, a month of wonderful testimony. I speak to March. Your destiny will experience unusual testimony. I speak 
into month of April, you will have wonderful testimonies. In the month of May, you will have wonderful testimonies. In the month of June, you will have wonderful testimonies. In the month of July, which is a covenant month of hallelujah, you will have wonderful testimony. You will come with your testimony to a night of 1,000 hallelujah. I am coming with two testimonies that God has done. I know there are more are still coming. You will come to a night of 1,000 hallelujah with double portion testimony, with multitude of testimony. Month of July shall be your personalized month. It will be your month of glorification. It will be your month of lifting. It will be your month of breakthrough. August will be a month where you will have perfect victory. Wonderful testimony in September. Wonderful testimony in October. Wonderful testimony in November. Throughout 2023, every day of this year will come with a miracle into your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to appreciate everyone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to appreciate everyone that participated in this prophetic prayer. You don't need to do any other thing than to, to believe. I was watching Brog Billy Akani live like this. I was watching a YouTube, a video of Brog Billy Akani engaging the power of the Holy Spirit. As I was watching that video, that at that time I could not speak in tongue for, for hours, I could only speak in tongue for a few seconds, and I received the grace of multiple baptism of Holy Ghost. As I was watching like you, there is no, nothing else you need to do than to believe that you have received urgent mercy. When urgent mercy is at work, angels are at work. When urgent mercy at work, and, and what do I call angels? Angels are men. Men that will come with a commandment from God to help you. That's my final declaration. God will command men to help you this year, and they will deliver. God will command men to help you this year, and they will deliver. As many people that believe in this prayer, and that receive it with faith, you, you might not even see me physically before, you may not even be able to see me for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter. I am not the one. God that you believe in will give you a wonderful testimony this week. It will be a year of wonderful testimony for you. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord shower blessing upon you. Every emergency situation in your life will receive an urgent message. Every emergency situation in your life is receiving urgent Urgent mercy. Every emergency situation in your life that you say, God, you need to show up or I, I will be put to shame. You say, God, you need to show up or I give up. You say, hey, Kali Masia. Somebody is saying, God, he said that you show up or I give up. Urgent mercy for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Iloanya, Iberi, the Lord bless you. My mommy, Amina, Nagode, the Lord bless you. Mr. Gule Yefemi, thank you for visiting us yesterday. Olufolaji, Kayo Dele, the Lord bless you. Uh, oh, my sister, Auntie Tolu, the Lord bless you. This year, you are having wonderful testimony. You know, if you just type amen, I will see your name. Now, that's the end of the general prayer. But if you trust in God for something, or you want to receive a prophetic, prophetic word, you want me to speak prophetically into your life, you can join the live brokers. But for the general prayer, what we are praying for today is situation of emergency that require urgent mercy. And God is showing mercy. And I said, when urgent mercy is in operation, there is allocations of angel into your situation. So as you step into this year, you have received angel of air, a pass of destiny, promoter of destiny. The hand of God is the hand of men. God will send men, anointed men, men that can hear God. God will send them to you. God will send them to you. This year, God will meet your need. I, let me share a very humble testimony for you. I've just shared, I've shared the testimony of how God built a house for us last year, a house that worth more than 11 million era. I just shared with you how God gave us a car this week, last two days, a car of 3.5 million era. Now, I'm going to share a very humble testimony. It's a small thing, but that is the prayer I want to pray for you. During Christmas, 
we have money, we have some money in dollars and, and all of that. I have some little change, I think about $100 dollar in my account, but I don't want to go and collect it. I just let me just leave it there. So we bought everything, people gave us stuff and all of that. But require just one thing. We have house, everything we want to, we, everything is ready. It now remains oil. It remains oil. And my wife came to me. He said, we have everything that we need now. He said, it remains oil. He said, we need oil to fry, to fry everything that we have. I said, oil. I said, how is it going to be? And we were just discussing. And my wife said, God is going to provide. I said, I believe so. Less than 10 minutes. Somebody sent 10,000 naira. You know it's small. But then it was the answer we need. Now the 10,000 naira was not the testimony. Somebody sent 10,000 naira and I switched on my data and I, and I received a message. A message from a brother. He said, I've sent 10,000 to you. He said, that money is not for you, but for your wife. He said, tell your wife to use the money to buy oil. I said, what? I just go and play the thing to my wife. I said, you see how God answered our prayer? We have everything, just one thing remaining. And God went to somebody and spoke to him. So when I met the brother, I said, what do you mean I should give the money to my wife to buy oil? He said, the brother said, he was sitting in the kitchen and the Holy Spirit came to him. Said, send 10,000 naira to Evangelist Adura Aliri Oluwagumi wife to buy oil. He said, that's why he sent the money and said specifically that the money is for oil. That's how God met our need. It may be too small for you, but there are, there are a situation of emergency where a man required urgent mercy. And when urgent mercy is at work, God will speak to somebody to attend to your case. I don't know your case, but I know about mercy. This year, at every point of shame, at every point of disappointment, at every point where you need, or where your case is an emergency, urgent mercy will speak for you. God will send people with answers you need. If I were you, I would say amen. God will send people to you with the answers that you need. Men that have the answers that you are praying for, they will come to your life. Men that have the answers that you are praying for, they will come to your life. Men that have the things you are praying for. I have a humbly testimony of, of two brothers that were praying on the mountain. One was praying, God, I need money. I need 30,000. I need money. I need 30,000. And he was praying and he was making noise. Lord, I need, I need money. And a gentleman beside him said, Mr. Man, please come down. What are you asking God for? 30,000 naira. Please. And the man took 30,000 naira and gave him, said, take your 30,000 and go. So that other people can speak to God. You see, he was speaking to God. But God used man to answer him. It doesn't matter what you need. That which you need is in the hand of men. The men that are in possession of the testimony you want to share, they will deliver into your hand. Maria Sikilia Dili Shara Kalema Dia Sekeliada. God said I should say that thing again. When we started, I saw white ankashi being distributed to people. And I was asking the spirit, what is the meaning of this? He said that white ankashi represents a mantle for your battle. As you step out this year, every battle and challenge that you are going to see on your way, receive the mantle to undo the battle of your life. If I were you, I would say I receive my own. I receive the mantle to undo the battle ahead. If I tell you that there will not be challenge ahead of you, I lie to you. There are two things God told me this year that will happen this year. Two things. Two things that the Lord told me will happen this year. The first one, the Lord told me is going to be a year of wonderful testimony. And it started with me. A year of wonderful testimony. The second thing the Lord told me is that 
He said this year, he wants to reward people that serve him diligently. He said people that take their time, their resources, their money, their gifts, everything they are, they use it to serve God. God said this year that he wants to reward them. He said he wants to reward them. He said this year is a year of reward for those that diligently serve God with everything they are. He said they will not need to pray for blessing for him to bless them. He said all he wants people to do this year is to serve God in all the capacity they can. He said as they are meaning, and I will come into the mountain this morning, the Lord said to me, he said the way to serve God is to serve humanity. You want to serve God? Look at the need of people around you and minister to it. Minister to the need of people. The need of Poor people around you, the need of your church, the need of your pastors, and people around you. He said the way to serve God is to meet the need of men. That's the way to serve God. He said as you minister to the need of others this year, he said he will bless you. That you will not even need to ask for it. I pray the wisdom that you need, the wisdom that you need to serve God, to give your best to God this year, God will give you that wisdom. Your blessing will come. When you don't meet, miss the season of your sowing. This is the first week of the year. Make sure there is a seed you are sowing. So that in the season of harvest, you will have also have something to harvest. The Lord bless you. The Lord minister to your name. I have a testimony. Let me share testimony. Because God was so, God is so awesome to me. Let me share a testimony to you. And I will close with that testimony. In September, I wanted to do my birthday. And the Lord asked me, I went to one of our churches in Shije. The Lord said to me, when last have you given sacrificial offering? Please, I'm not asking you to give me any offering. I'm only sharing my testimony. But if God is leading you to do that, that's between you and God. I'm not sharing this testimony so that you can give me anything. But this is what God is saying. He said this year, he want to reward people that serve him with all they are. So in September, I went to one of our branches. And I wanted to minister. And the Lord said to me, he said, when last... Have you given sacrificial offering? And I look at my life and say, it's been a long time that I give sacrificial offering. And at the back of that church, they are building a, a pastor's place. They call it Mission House. So I made up my mind. I said, I'm going to buy one bundle of iron sheets, which is 50,000 era. So I promised to give 50,000 era to support the work of God as my sacrificial offering. You know, we are different level for some people. 1,000 is a sacrificial offering. For some, 50,000 is a sacrificial offering. For some, 50 million is a sacrificial offering. So I said, I look at it, even that day that I was making that promise, I think I have less than 5,000. But I knew God was going to provide. My birthday was ahead. I knew there is no way I would do my birthday that my friends will not give me up to 50,000. So in my mind, I wanted to use the money they give me on my birthday as my sacrificial offering to pay that 50,000 error. But you know, when you have an heart for God, God will not even wait for your time to meet your need. So two weeks later, I made that promise. My, my mother came from the village and gave me 50,000 error. And she said that she had a, a land in the village. And because we are not interested in that land, so she decided to sell the land. So she said that 50,000 era was my own portion from the sales of that land. So you know that land was supposed to be my inheritance. So she said she sold it, she gave me the money, said 50,000 era. And as I collected the money like this, I remember the vow, the promise I made to buy a bundle of iron sheets for the Lord. So I took the money. I called the church, the brother in charge, and gave him the 50,000 era. So I gave the Lord the land that belonged to me, that was 50,000 era. And two months later, two months later, that was in September, two months later, in November 8th, and somebody just called me. She said, the Lord commanded that person 
to buy a land for me. So he said, I should go and find a place. So I found a place and I told that person that the one that I saw, that it is five million naira. He said, five million naira? He said, yes. And as I dropped the call, the person paid for the money. I was like, ah, me? I only gave a, a, a 50,000 offering and God came back and gave me a land that worth five million naira. You see? There are seed time and there are harvest time. God is telling all of us, including me, this year, that if you want him to bless us, it must be by service. That this year, he want to reward service. And I pray for you. The Lord will bless you. And the best thing to give to God is not the one you are compelled to give by your pastor. Is not the one you are forced, you are manipulated to give. After this message now, if I ask you to give, it's a manipulation. The best thing to give to God is when the Holy Spirit ministers to you. Say, go and do so, so, and so. That is the best sacrifice that always comes with results. This year, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in terms of what you need to do for God. Some people, what they even need to give to God is their heart first. In terms of things you need to give to God, let it be that God speaks to you or there is an urgent need that you need to respond to. The Lord bless you. This year shall be your year of wonderful testimony. I will hear your testimony and I will share your testimony. Thank you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Now, if you like to me to pray with you one on one, there is a button there. You can, you can indicate you want me to pray with you. You join. There is a place on your, as you are watching, there is a place where you can join. Uh, like the next three minutes, if there is anybody that would like to join, I would like to add you. Is there anybody? Okay, let me try to invite somebody. <laughs> okay, somebody want to join, want me to pray with you. Is this accept? Accept. Let us pray it. We go. Participate in your focus. Yes. Not sure if it's going through. You can see try. Let do one by one. Maybe it will go. Stephen Duru Waye, you like to join? Yes, Kale Marasilia Shakalia Marasi Kelly De Delia Sakada. I pray for Stephen Kale Marasilia Shakada Keliama. I'm seeing certificates and documents for Stephen. Stephen, I know you, Mr. Stephen, please permit me. Mr. Stephen, I know you want to join, but as you indicate your interest to join, I see certificate piled up, and I speak over your certificate. Mercy will 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 speak over your certificate. Stephen, Mr. Stephen, I see certificate piled up. I see certificate piled up. What need? Urgent mercy in your case are papers. Are papers. Are papers. Are papers. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. John, the Lord bless you. I pray for you. Urgent mercy for you in the name of Jesus. I'm still trying to see the face of the person I'm, I'm, I'm on with now. The Lord bless you. I pray for you. Where men has failed you, mercy will rise up and meet your need. Where men has failed you, mercy will speak for you. Unless you are a bit I pray for you. It will be ceasing of testimony for you. Ere kelia maselia dia da kalia marasia da kalia The month of January will not end before you share your testimony. 
That's your prophecy. You just need to believe it. The month of January will not end before you share your testimony. I'm also seeing papers in your hand. Ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Are you married at all? Okay, you see, I was laughing. I saw that they are doing what they call engagement. I, I know you are Yoruba. I saw that one call she see one call she she see I pray for you that will be marital breakthrough for you this year. Kalima siyali e de de lishiri kalia mata kaliada. The answer you are waiting for will suddenly arrive. The path you are going to follow this year is the path created by mercy. Amen. The Lord bless you. You can speak to me privately after the broadcast. My number, let me say, zero. My WhatsApp number, zero eight zero eight seven one one zero two two four. Zero eight zero eight seven one one zero two two four. The Lord bless you. Let me know about your testimony. If there are other people that would like to join. If there are other people that would like to join, yeah, one on one prophetic word. I was praying with a brother yesterday, and as I prayed for him, I saw the Lord opened my eyes and I saw, I saw his head being washed traditionally. And when you I saw that somebody is using something to wash his head with all this traditional soap. And I stopped the prayer. And I said, did you go to anywhere where they do it worry for you, where they wash your hair? Uh, he said, yes, that he went somewhere where the, the, the priest, the pastor, it is all this white garment church. I'm not condemning white garment church. Use traditional soup and something to wash his head. I said, they have removed from part of your destiny from what they did for you. Please, let God be enough for you. You don't need a white garment person before you receive healing. You don't need to go to any church before you receive it. Let your Bible be sufficient for you. Let the prayer that they pray for you be sufficient for you. Don't run to people that will destroy your destiny. And that's why I started praying for him. I said, you went for solution, but you came back with problem. Is there anybody that would like to join? And that prophecy, if there is anywhere you have gone to and they have done something to you and that thing is affecting your destiny. Somebody is watching. They took you to an afar, and that thing is affecting your destiny. When you dream, you always see that man in your dream. They've taken you to a place when you are young. A friend take, took you to a place, and each time you dream, you always see that person again. You always see that person again. You need prayer. If that prophecy for you, you might need to speak to me so that I will pray. The Lord bless you. I believe there is nobody that is showing interest again. Let me end so that you also find your way and do some other thing. You want me to pray with you one on one? You can always chat with me on WhatsApp, whether you are watching now on, on, on Facebook, or if any of the prophetic words I speak to you is yours and you want to testify or confirm, please you can speak to me on WhatsApp 08087. One one zero two two four four eight zero eight zero eight seven one one zero two two four. I do a little work, but it's mine. The Lord bless you until I come your way. Make sure you share with your friend. The Lord bless you. This year is your year of wonderful testimony. I will share your testimony. You will hear about my own.